What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another standard thing on uh, YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're watching this. I just threw this deck together last night. So now you guys can actually ask me the questions of why do you have this card or why aren't you playing this card? And I may have answers for you. Uh, this is just a Jeskai list. I really just wanted to play Varix in, in Constructed because we drafted him the other day and I was like, maybe this card's good in Constructed. I don't know. Seven mana for two four fours? Can't be, uh, <clears throat> can't be one for one. So that seems good. Check with the 10 bones. My grandma saw Sinatra naked. She is 101 and still kicking. Maybe uh, glimpsing his naked body afforded her unnaturally long life. That's possible. That is possible, actually. I, uh, I, I can't, I don't have any facts that would dispute that. So, uh, um, all right. So anyway, uh, we have two Supreme Wills and three Disallows for dealing with things that we can't kill with cards like a Braid or Seal Away. Also, Essence Scatter, I think is one of the just better counter spells right now because you can counter things like Rekindled Phoenix or Scarab God, which you otherwise have trouble dealing with. Um, I'm not a huge Gideon fan. But I feel like we put him in here just because we have a bunch of Planeswalkers. Three Karns Temporal Sunderings. And one in Bolas's Clutches. Uh, this makes anything we steal legendary so that we can even cast this. Or the one Jai's I'm letting Inferno. Pull from tomorrow because I think drawing cards in Standard is very, very good. But only one because it's expensive. Two Lyras. Two Teferis. Uh, I like the idea of Wrath in this deck because you can end of turn Wrath. And if they kill it, you can probably resolve something on the next turn. And if not... <clears throat> I mean, if they, if they don't kill it, rather. Uh, you're able to play most of your cards at instant speed. These are legendary. So, pretty much all of these can be played at instant speed. If you have a raft. If a raft sticks, sticks on the board. And, I'm just going to put the other cards that you can play at instant speed there as well. This whole deck wants to play at instant speed, I think. Look at all these. Everything here is, look, this is the only card that you can't play at instant speed if you have a raft on the board. That's great. <clears throat> All right, anyway, um, we'll see, we'll see. Sideboard's pretty standard. You got some uh, enchantment removal because we do have four abra three abrades. Uh, fiery Cannonade to get rid of early creatures. Might be a Sweltering Suns, I'm not sure. I just like the instant speed nature of it in the single red. Uh, two more Fumigates just in case. One Settled Wreckage. Uh, Magma Sprays for early guys. Another Jai's Millennium Inferno. And three Negates. So, I don't know. We'll see. Deck looked fun. Could be terrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there right now and say it could be terrible, and uh, we're just gonna play some cues because I like I like cues better almost sometimes because uh, I just like the option of being able to change the cards after after playing them. So Fly me to the moon. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do it. Now I have fly me to the moon stuck, man. Um, I'll keep this hand and hope that we draw another one of our twenty-six lands in the deck. Thank you, blah blah blah. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. No pun included, Efka. Thank you. Nineteen months. Um, I did not forget our anniversary. You just sprung it on me, buddy. So. uh... In your face. In your face. Mountain? Oh, I'll take an island. I'm going to play the island here because if we do draw something like a uh, cliff top retreat, I'd rather just play that. Uh-oh. Oh, it's going to be one of these jobbies. All right. Let's see how this sec. Black Flame 43, three months in a row. Thank you so much. You guys are, you guys are doing the resubs off right today. Okay, now we're doing all right. I feel like we're in good shape. Yokes McOaks, what's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. Man, a Yokum and an Efka in the chat? Whew. Throwback to 2006. They don't have anything? What's going on here? What's going on here? Red mana. Oh, I might actually cast that for two, but I don't think so. I really want to hit a third land. And the brain ain't doing us any favors. It's just like a bad glimpse at this point. Or not glimpse, glimmer. Tempest Gin. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do this because if you actually have Spell Pierce, which you probably do, uh, you don't. I'm actually, I was going to be able to uh, cast Teferi if we draw land. 
No, we did draw land. I'm going to assume you don't have the spell pierce. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, look, that's the land we wanted to play, so then we can keep a braid and seal the way up, but... I think we're doing all right here. I will untap Irrigated and Island. Fly me to the moon. Another one, huh? Okay. This guy is out of a braid range by a significant margin. We could tuck. I like tucking here. And then playing Karn. One, two, three, four. Let's see if Karn resolves. Let's see what they give us. It's going to be a land. It's always a land. It's always a land. Oh, two lands. Here comes an island. Island incoming. Who saw that coming? I don't want to. I don't want to trust that this card uh, gets sealed away. Dive down. Well, that's pretty okay. Maybe you have a second dive down. Ooh, that's going to be scary. Oh, this deck. That deck is not correct. Can I update it? Probably. Hold on. Let me update it. Did I update it? No, I didn't update it. <laughs> Did I? No. Let me make sure I have done a thing. Oh, I did. God, I'm so good at this. All right. Dex upload new. Choose a thing. Just got... All right, deck, is, deck should be updated now. As far as I know. <clears throat> um, yep, yeah, all right. I hope they tap out for something stupid. I really just don't want this 6-5 to bash my skull in. That's true. You get four untaps if you do that. <clears throat> You're not wrong. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. Never didn't have it. Is that better than just disallow? I guess it costs two if you have a pirate, but it doesn't seem great. Fumigate one time. Supreme Will. I am t I am two I'm one red shy for that guy. That is sad. Um God, a braid is worse when they have Stormfleet aerialist, huh? I feel like Varix would actually be pretty huge here. I'm just going to keep up Supreme Will. They have two cards. Yeah, the white border islands are are not are not ideal. Oh god, <laughs> I forgot about this. I should have uh, maybe I should have pulled for tomorrow for one less and then kept up supreme will. That would have been so much better. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could have done it for six, drawn four. Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, we couldn't sack Jeffrey because he was at two. No, he was he was he at three? I guess they could have done that. I'm messing up left and right. There's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, sack him in the sense of just let him go. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Oh, they're both coming at Teferi? All right, that's fine. Yoakum, have a good dinner, buddy. All right, so we're just going to pull for tomorrow. And I guess hope you don't have a thing. Oh, 
You did not have a thing. Discard and uh, and and that one. All right. Oh, <clears throat> that was a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We could Lyra and keep up, keep up Supreme Will. Seems pretty good. <clears throat> and we also have Seal Away, so we have a couple answers here. Um, one, two, three. Don't play that idiot, please. Static Suit said, you just earned your Masters? That's pretty insane, dude. Congrats, buddy. What a casual NBD just earned my Masters. Oh, that's good. That's nice of you. I mean, I'm 1,000% going to uh, seal you away. Come seal away with me. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. Teferi gives us 11, 2 for seal away. So that's a lot. These are big dudes. Oh, that's that's humongous. Lyra's looking pretty pretty rough right now. Could actually just seal away this dude and put this dude back in the deck, or vice versa. They're in top deck mode if we do that. <clears throat> that seems pretty good for now. Come sail away with me. Watching the stream on TV with my whole family right now. Hi, Static Suicide's family. Hi, Mitch's family. Um, so this is funny because uh, a braid actually makes our our Lyra better because we can block and then a braid. But we don't have to do that, you see. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I like this. Hold on. <clears throat> Draw a card. Play a mountain. One, two, three, four. We'll play a raft here. We'll attack. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can actually Varix at instant speed, which seems pretty sick. I think we're just going to get to do everything we want to do in this deck. This is exactly what I wanted to do, so... Tsunami seems like a decent draw. What's a tsunami? Is that a joke? I can't tell what you're saying right now. So their next card should be... Uh... Should be the Jin. Oh, this is a deck I put together before the... Last night. Before going to bed. I will double block this guy. Dragons all day. I get my dragon on. That was a good deal. Varric's Blade Wing at instant speed, my friends. It's it's it looks cool, but it's I think it might be on the pricier side. That's just my theory. Oh, a fumigate? Well, we're not using that, that's for sure. <clears throat> Come sail away. Boop boop boop. <laughs> Uh, 
I have a lot of creatures. They all do things. I think you'd be dead if a braid could hit you in the face. Alright, got him. Our deck is sweet. Even if it doesn't, even if it's not that great, it's still sweet. Uh, Invoke seems good because they have uh, both favorable wins and curious. Like, I think uh, we're going to bring in all the, all the good stuff. Bring in Fumigates. What do you take out? <sighs> a braid doesn't seem that good. Does it? Is it? Does it? Is it? I don't know. Got the Supreme Wills. It's probably fine. Mono Blue Flyer is, is a real standard deck, yeah. Because uh, you have cards like Lookout's Dispersal, which costs two to counter a spell for three. Like, they pay three. Uh, you have Spell Pierce, which which makes makes it so your guys can't be easily removed in the early game. Uh, Tempest Jin is like a really good... Uh, just a really good tempo threat. This is a 3-4 three, on three, a 4-4 four, four on four. In the mono blue deck. Um, all of our cards seem very, very good. Very, very well positioned. Yeah, I guess this is fine. <clears throat> I don't know if I care about the invoke so much. We still have two cast outs. I will keep this hand hand does everything. We want to actually be able to play either of these on turn two, so we'll just start with the Sulphur Falls. I'll deal with it. Uh, my quali- what is DC? Is DC a Pro Tour? I haven't been qualified for a Pro Tour in two years. <clears throat> I have to play- I have to play- I have to actually have to play physical paper magic in order to be qualified for a Pro Tour, I think. Did well, Sinatron, 2-1, Final Black, Panharmonic. Panharmonicon? Got a full communion and getting in my... That's pretty good. Wow, that's really good, actually. Mono Black, Panharmonicon sounds awesome. Alright, this hand seems good except for when they play Tempest Jin next turn, but I guess we get to kill Siren Stormer. I forward my standard shot on an open poop in my two. Well, if if the see here's the problem, you should have went three one. If you went three one, that humility would have paid off. I'll take one more damage. My opinion on arena so far, it's not super high. I am gonna abrade here because we have a lot of things, so. Plus this guy makes uh targeting other creatures that they might play really, really bad. You gonna save this guy? No. Okay, you got it. You guys, right? You're at farmland. Oh, pull for tomorrow. Oh, pull for tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh! I'm still gonna kill you. I'll abrade you all day, man. Man, this is. Whew. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think MTG is going to be in trouble in the long run. I don't think it's going to affect MTG in any way. I mean, I don't... I, 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 it's going to be some re really weird dystopian future where one digital iteration of a card game affects the entire card game itself. That would be really... Uh, that would be a strange turn of events if that happened. Hmm. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Um, let's keep trying. Keep at it, right? Third time's a charm. Get your 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Got him. He's so dead. Joke's on you, buddy. I hope they don't have any instant speed. I think I'm choosing to survive in the long run without a viable. Uh, I don't think that's true at all. MTG lives and breathes in the physical space. Uh, that is... I think like a significant amount of MTG players, like probably I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a random statistic that I made up on the spot. Seventy five percent of MTG players don't even play Magic Online. That would be my guess. Or any 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 uh, digital iteration. They they buy their cards. They go to their F and M. They play with their deck. Maybe it's not super tuned. Then they go home and spend the weekend doing other stuff like you know sports or uh, watching football or you know, going camping or something like they do normal, like, you know, regular, pretty, pretty average, uh, pretty average activities. Right. But newspapers aren't, uh, <laughs> uh I don't care about this one, two at all. Right. We're at 17. We got time. I mean, I might pull from tomorrow, but I'm probably not pulling from tomorrow. The difference is newspapers are dying because there's a better alternative to newspapers, right? If there's a better alternative to Magic the Gathering that is digital, people will play that. If they don't have the opportunity to play that, then they're just going to keep playing Magic Magic the Gathering paper. Like, that's... Oh, we're so good at this game. Well, I'm going to counter this. Look how fast they tap their lands. They couldn't have capped any faster. Alright, we're going to be settling some wreckage soon, I bet. Digital magic and pure magic are not the same thing. Or what is that? I don't know what that means. I don't... That's a, that's a, that's a statement you probably have to clarify. I'll do this to hit a land. Our hand works with lands. Um... I'll discard a mountain because everything else is very, very good. All right, cool. How much do I have to donate for you to say before and after each stream? This stream brought to you by It's Your Boy Time. Uh, well, you'd have to just you'd have to just sponsor me. That's all, and then this stream would actually be brought to you by It's Your Boy Tom. You know, like you do. Okay, seems good. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. We really have to settle some wreckage here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, doop, 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 doop. <clears throat> probably not to people play keep playing dnd D D is more popular now than it ever was that's crazy real sky what are you saying right now what are you talking about dude i think tabletop dnd is actually more popular than it's ever been All right, let's see what happens. Hit me with your counter spell. Fight. Oh, they all died. 
they all died. Yeah, it's definitely more popular. I like, I mean, and the reason being that like you have these major companies having like D and D D and D days where like all of these big companies have like you know, hey, it's Thursday night D and D night at Google. You have like people in prison, uh, actually playing D and D, like you know, as like a group thing. You have, um, y- like yes, D and D is more popular than ever. Like I, I. I don't think it's because some people have been streaming it on Twitch. No, I think there's actually evidence that D&D is in an amazing place right now. Especially with, like, quote-unquote nerd culture uh, becoming more and more mainstream. I think we just won this game. Yeah, that 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 should seal the deal. I feel like we're in good shape. Uh, I'll do it, and I just like taking turns. Look at that. I took an extra turn in this standard match. What a time to be alive. Oh, uh, they could not have countered Subtle with the 1-1. It does not target any of their permanents. That is not how magic works, buddy. Counter target spell ability that targets you or a creature you could... Char- you? Oh, it does. It targets the player. My goodness gracious. Wow. I didn't even catch that. I just thought it would target... I, I thought Settle actually targeted like it uh, removed all attacking creatures. I didn't think the wording said target. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, none. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, Settle is... Settle's OP. Or uh, Siren Storm Chaser OP. They actually counted my Carnage Temporal Sundering the other day. I, that was pretty sad. Yeah, we did. I we totally did. I didn't even think about it though. It's just because it's such a it's such a non like it's not a thing you consider. Like there's very few cards that uh, counter something that's targeting a, a player, you know. So it's just kind of like uh, it's like auto. Like oh, they're asking me to do something. I'll click on their face. You could ask us why we're playing this guy, and the reason is because it's cool. Thank you. Jack of all trade, 11 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right. So our deck did pretty reasonably there. I'm okay with it. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, one more month in a row, and then it's our one-year anniversary, Jack of all trade. I will wait till someone joins this queue and then I'll sneak in. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I just don't think of Settle as a sweeper of the targets. Uh, Billy, I agree. I think getting cards for all, if you're not willing to spend money, I think getting cards for all uh, digital card games is, is pain. However, I will say that Legends will give you more cards than uh, com- competing digital card games. So... Uh, Brian, I've probably been up for about 30 minutes now, so not a long time, not a long time. Jess guy control, come on, just one, one player joined this queue. I was wondering if these paper products will survive the next 10 years though. I Uh, I don't think they need digital counterparts. I think the reason you think they need digital counterparts is because you're not seeing. Like, you're able to see a a game's progress if it's digital. Like, you can look at MTGA or Magic Online and see how it's doing with your own eyes. Um, Because it's online and it's visible. You can't see the success of something like D&D paper or Magic paper. Um, So, I mean, you know, I think it's easier for someone to be like, hey, you know, this product might not survive. But, like, what you don't see is that it's actually doing really, really well.
I will keep this hand. All of our lands come into play tapped. Untapped. Untapped is what I meant. My favorite thing about this mana base is that uh, ideally there are only four lands that come into play tapped and they are the irrigated farm lands. Which is I think very important for control decks. I can see how many stores are running events. I can't see D&D. &D. What is that? I don't know what that means. Like, I don't think they're being run like professionally by like stores. I think they're just people playing D&D. &D. Uh, play you. We can actually play both of these basics then just... D and D had that hype last year because it's being featured on Stranger Things. Yeah, sure, but that's still hype. Like, what does it matter where the hype comes from? It still gets people interested. I, I mean, I don't care where it comes from. That's just good. That's just good for the game. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's what I always say. I don't think he's ever said that. Are these cues just mono blue decks because they're super cheap? I can't tell. All right, now we're now we're doing it. All right, well. Oh, that was a great draw. Da dom 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 da dom da dom dom. Oh, I see what you're saying. K Bird Smash. Okay, so you were you were you were agreeing then. I see what you're saying. I get it. <clears throat> I understand. Look at all these rafts we got. I think we just play a raft here because I guess we can wait. We could have played Karn, but then Karn just almost dies. Probably if they have Curious, they just die. I will take four. Yeah, that's fine. I wish Karn could deal with uh, creatures. He cannot. <sighs> that's probably getting countered, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I guess we always end of turn Karn. I mean, we don't get the activation, but we do get to protect him. And then untap play Chandra. That seems pretty good. I would love to just run out of Chandra, but they have six cards. So, what I think the best monocolor three drop is, I don't know actually, but there is a green white deck with the with the banalish the banalish guy. The white guy. There's a mono black deck with the black guy. There's a mono blue deck with the blue guy. Chain Whirler is very good. And they're all very good, actually. They're all seeing some amount of play. This is my Karn. Do, 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 do. All right, you got it. Now I get to Chandra, I think, presumably. One, two, three, four. Chandra. I'm gonna get up to get down. I'm gonna get up to get down. One, two, three, four. Put your gin 
on the floor. Oh, you just unsummon it. That's actually fine. I'm okay with that. You just got to recast that dude, and then we can actually go Chandra for two mana, Karn's Temporal Sundering. Everybody wins. Bounce your guy. This should be a pretty good series of turns. I'm okay with everything that's happening right now. Could also plus, but that doesn't seem relevant. I'm trying to add two here. Actually, we kind of do want to add two just to play around Spell Pierce. I think that's probably better. Two, three, four. Blue. <laughs> Put that dude in your hand. Pay for costs, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. All right. Well. Oh, I see. Well, isn't that cute? All right. Well, we'll just take another turn. Um. Hmm. Let's see what we get. A land. I guess we can actually pass and just keep disallow up. And if they don't play anything, we can we can wrath. What are the differences from the blue-white flash we built of this? I have no idea. I don't know the blue-white flash deck, so I just built this myself. I couldn't tell you the differences between this and a deck I have not played or have no connection to. Nick, if you're and Fresh are running for president, who do you vote for? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> that's... Um... I, I'd be afraid of Nick Fury because he has a little too much... There's a little too much subterfuge going on with Nick Fury. Like, there's a little bit too much... Uh, I don't I don't trust what's going on with you. But um, Professor X also has the ability to read people's minds. So, uh, Professor X would actually never make you vote for him. That is... Uh, that would be a very, very... That would be completely incorrect for his character. Um, what are we getting here? Another land. All right, this is actually fine. Now we get to keep this low and cast out up. So, oh, you're gonna have this. You're gonna play this little bird. What up, little bird? Let's see if this works the way I want it to. Free turn. Oh, that was gas. Oh, boy. Karn's Temporal Sundering is a heck of a thing. Another planes, huh? They're at three? Oof. So as long as Chandra survives, they're dead. Oh, that's sad. You gotta stop that. Just stop it. Yeah, let's just try to relax here, guys. This guy's a little too big for his own for his own britches, as they say. Oh, I guess your friend is. Oh, well, you're dead. You have died. One, two, three. Yeah, let's calm down, guys. There's literally no reason to uh, to get all hostile about D&D versus magic and physical and paper realms. All right. A braid kills pretty much everything except for Tempest Gen, I guess. So that's pretty okay. Um, I think I disallow Spring Wills. I don't actually care if they unsummon my stuff. We'll bring this in again. Bring one of you in again.
Uh, the real Scott has been in my chat for quite some time. Like, he's never really a troll. He's actually just having a conversation, I think. I, don't, I just don't think it's necessary to uh, to escalate it. I, I'm also not just going to ban someone immediately because they have one bad conversation or one bad day, so... Um. Oh, the old Hungry Howie's flavored crust, the classic. <clears throat> What's Hungry Howie? <laughs> Man, I get that. We get that a surprising amount, don't we? The What's Hungry Howie in this chat? That's funny. Oh, Jester Poo. That's that you sound like an old timey slogan. Guys, I don't know what to have for dinner again. Yeah, this hand seems fine just because we have the double seal away. And the abrade. We have three things we can cast. And I assume we'll draw lands, twenty six lands usually facilitates that all right so if we hit lands we're actually in good shape even if we don't we got some time I'm killing that guy now because if we untap, they have everything from spell pierce to lookouts, uh, dispersal to oh, wonderful, to any number of cards that actually prevent us from actually dealing with it. So they can actually go curious will. I guess that's what it's called, curious, curious face. This is never resolving, I'm sure, but yep, that's what we were afraid of. <clears throat> But we just take three and then we can do it again, so. Land. Hooray. Oh boy. Um, land? No, that's still pretty okay though. Yikes. Is this a... I guess it's a second one, right? Oh my god. It's the most annoying thing ever. If only we hit a land here. I notice you lose a lot of games by simply drawing the wrong cards. You should work on that. I try. I swear I try. It is in uh It is definitely in the works. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying working on a plan to draw the right cards in the right order, but we're not there yet. Getting real tired of this guy. Here we go. We're gonna settle, you're gonna counter, and we're gonna Karn. Or Teferi, which is probably better, because we're gonna hit a land, everything's gonna work out. Well, that's just sad. You're just making everybody sad. Fumigate. No, I don't want to fumigate. Oh, Varix. Varix, why do you why do you do this? This guy's getting real aggressive here. Five, six, seven, eight if they play a land. And then we'd be dead if they played favorable wins. Uh, 
All right, well, I guess you can draw one more and hope we hit a land. We have multiple clifftop retreats. Like, we have, like, four clifftop retreats in the deck. Yep, all right. Got them. Like, they're all right here. <laughs> Not going to add a card as one or two of them. We already have four in the deck. It seems like a little excessive. Uh, I think we're fine if we just draw the right cards. I just don't want to not draw the right cards. Like, we actually have four, eight, twelve. We have twelve red sources in the deck, which is more than enough. What up, Cesaru? Is it Cesar or C4 Aceru? I don't actually... I, I may have been pronouncing your name wrong this entire time. I have no idea. The curve gets even better when you move these over here. And then these guys over here. So That's, that's probably more accurate. More true to life there. Aceru. All right. Now we're see I'm never going to I've always actually pronounced it wrong and now I feel bad. So, I'm going to play first. See, this is what happens. We talk about the cliff top retreats, Big Brother's listening, and now uh, this is a good hand. All right. I accept. It's kind of an a hand actually. We have no real early answers. But I have lands and that's really important, so C4 Acer. Now, see, now I know everything. Now I'm super, uh, now I'm super plugged in. VTD, no worries, buddy. No worries. I will keep this hand. Oh, they went to 6-2? All right. Everybody, everybody wins. Um, I need more. We have 26 lands. I don't think we need a fourth land right now. I do think we need earlier plays, so... This guy is just a little turd. Well, that's not what we wanted. VTD, welcome, welcome. Appreciate the 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 viewing the viewing experience. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what I'm saying there. I'll take it. I'll take one. I'll take one damage from you. Oh boy. Twenty-six lands in the deck. Twenty-six. I think we're dead. I don't think we can deal with this. We have to draw land. Like, even if we draw land next turn, we have nothing to play. And if we draw land after that, it's very, very easy to counter whatever we're playing. So, um... Well, they didn't play anything else, so that's a good start. Also a good start. All right, well... C4 is also a family of explosives. <laughs> I have not played uh, Mono Black Control yet. I, I'm tempted to, though. It looks very sweet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Teferi goes to five. I'm just going to play Teferi here because I imagine you're going to counter it. And uh, I'd rather you do that than counter the Fumigate. So. Yep. All right. So you have two cards. Fumigate could get us back in the game. Just don't have the, another counter spell. <sighs> so cringy, dude. <sighs> Pretty sure we're just dead now. What are my streaming plans for tonight? Streaming? Cool. Fun game. All right. Good times, good times. Wait? What am I waiting for?
The extra turn is six, but we can't cast it because we don't have a legendary permanent. So, unfortunate days. Why is this not a league? Because I like being able to change the deck in between. Because I just put the deck together and I have no idea if it's any good. So I don't want to commit myself to five rounds when I have never played the deck before. Uh, I will play first. It gets me. It gets me every time as well. Actually, uh, Mulligan this hand. It's not better, but mm, I'm not gonna go to five here, especially when we don't know what we're playing. <laughs> oh, Yoakum, good times, good times. Oh, a mountain with no other things. All right, I accept. You're playing the entire Miami Dolphins. Oh, search for Ascontes. I Actually, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Oh, let's add one of those. See, this is why I didn't want to commit myself to a league. That's a great idea. VTD, way to go. I knew I was overlooking something when I was building the deck. That's great. Oh, wow. Triple The old Triple Karn's t Temporal Sundering Hand. I might take one of these out. For the, the search. I think that's actually a pretty good change. We can actually do that now. Can we... Oh god. Search for is not the... See, we could easily just look for Ascanta here. That's probably going to give us the result we want. There we go. Oh, that's not the one. So all the matches just stay up. Like These, these actually never close on Magic Online. So you have to literally close every match you've played manually. It's extremely weird. Uh, just one? No, I would never play three. I would Okay, A, I would never play three searches ever. Because uh, that's a ridiculous amount of legendary enchantments that you never want to draw multiples of. And uh, I don't actually like two searches either, just for that same reason. What are your thoughts on the no banless modern as a format? Um, I think you might as well just be playing Legacy. I think it's fun as an experiment sometimes. Like, I've, I played it at Mox Boarding House when I was in Seattle, and that was, that was good times. It's fun to play some of those cards. But, like, I just wanted to play Hex Mage Depths, and at that point, I might as well just be playing Legacy. So. I think Modern is, is diverse enough that you don't actually need to supplement it with, like, a no band list. It's just basically Legacy without dual lands, right? I mean, it feels very similar. Man, joke's on me. I should have sealed away before combat. <laughs> uh, just kidding. All right, so we're just going to pass here because in 26 lands, we apparently can't draw more than three lands. So, Sad days. I don't think Legacy's actually dying anymore right now than it has been for like years i don't think there's any like legacy death that's happening right now that's that's more that's greater than any other than any other time right like it just seems it probably seems that way in your area but i don't think that's i don't know if that's indicative of uh a large scale legacy problem how much cycling does this list have not a ton i mostly just want to be playing my cards ideally we'll draw Think any new cards from uh, Dominator will have an impact in Modern, like the new Karn? Uh, yeah, I definitely think... Actually, I could see new Karn in Modern. Just because it gives any deck a four-drop four Planeswalker that draws them cards. Which is very, very good. What is even happening? Just mono pirates dot deck over here? Alright, so Fiery Cannonade is actually at its worst right now. This card's actually scary. I would love to... Likes me to get a new Eternal format? Like, what do you... Okay, so if you have a new Eternal format, okay, you're definitely just losing Legacy and Vintage. Like, if they're if they're dying, quote unquote, dying now, they're, it's just gonna get so many, so many. Do you think there are too many sets in Modern? No, no, I do not. I also think that if you had any new Modern, any new Modern format, uh, you would actually cannibalize the old Modern format, 
And that's literally what Frontier was trying to do, and it didn't take off, because people just don't want to invest in, I have a modern deck, I have a standard deck, I have a new modern deck, I have a new eternal format deck, I have a vintage deck. I have a... People, you just can't do that. People don't have that kind of time or energy or, or money. Like, you're just cannibalizing your own formats at that point. Like, if you want to play an older format, you play Vintage or Legacy. If you want to play uh, a newer format with old cards, you, you play... Uh... I think we're still dead here, but we'll see. Uh, you play Modern and Standard. Like, probably Modern based on what I said, because I don't think what I said includes Standard. But, I mean, like, the point is that, like... You just can't just add new formats when, like, you want you just because you want to play with a couple different cards, like, or you know, like, what's Karn at right now? I I picked mine up at forty five, and I felt bad about that. Oh, you can still get them for like 50, so that's fine. What is this? You didn't play Neckbreaker. God, why do these guys have First Strike? If they have a plus three, plus three, we're already taking seven by not blocking. Well, no, because their trick has to be, like, they have to be able to do five extra damage. So if they have, like, run amok to one mana pirates, we're dead. But the point is, if we if they don't have that, we can actually start playing Karn's Temporal Sundry if we, if we survive. So I'm just going to try to survive this turn. I'll just go to five and assume you don't have a way to kill me. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So if we draw if we draw land here, we actually just win the game. Oh, except for Oh, yeah, we just bounce this guy and win the game. All right, we just win the game. Didn't someone say they wanted to see me uh temporal sundering and all three in a row and win the game? Cuz I think we just did that. Me, yes. <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, I hope you're ready. We definitely did not click them. I uh, clicked myself and bounce this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put you to tensies. This extra turn will put you to five. This is why we don't block, because if we lose our win condition, then we die. But if we don't lose our win condition, then we win the game. Oh, they knew what was coming. <laughs> It doesn't even oh boy good times good times but he can't have the third no he he can he can all right so all the magma sprays are coming in the other braid is coming in take out a disallow take out the supreme wills those are a little slow um embolus's clutches i don't want to take anything of yours take out a temporal sundering because i don't think it's actually going to be doing that much work take out the cast outs because I think the smaller stuff is just better. We'll bring in a Settle and two Fumigates. That seems good. I don't hate this hand. Double Essence Scatter seems okay. Does this deck have enough Legendaries? Um, I think it does. I mean, we have 
14 legendaries, and in Bolas's clutches, whatever we take becomes legendary. So 15 legendaries. I think 25% of the deck is more than more than adequate. So we're probably going to take a hit here from something, but we do get to keep up double S and scatter. So I'm hoping that we draw lands like you do. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was a pretty good draw. All right. Now we just have to take three from Carrie Zev for a million turns. Uh, none of the Planeswalkers have the Legendary Border, so Teferi doesn't, Gideon doesn't. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say in, in Bolus's Cutches makes them legendary? Like, it's actually in the list, so 15. Like, I literally have it in the list. And that's why that's why it's at 15. I mentioned that. Well, no, definitely Guilty said uh, technically it's 16 because in Bolus's Cutches makes it legendary. And I'm like, no, no, I said that. Uh, you can't cast things off enchantments, but what you, you the creature becomes legendary. No, it makes the creature legendary so that you have a legendary creature. Enchanted encrench, enchanted permanent. I say it's it's still enchanted permanent too. It's not just creature, so. I don't know what you guys are saying right now. Yes, clutches is legendary, but you cannot cast Immolating Inferno or Karn's Temporal Sundering off of an Inbolus's clutches by itself because it's not a planeswalker or a creature. You may cast legendary sorceries only if you control a legendary creature or a planeswalker. So only if you're taking a creature or a planeswalker can you cast it. So it doesn't actually always count, but for the for the most part, you're probably just going to be always taking creatures or planeswalkers. Uh, I'm going to counter you. I don't have any sweepers right now, so... Hopefully you don't have a second one. They always have a second one. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, you could steal a land within Bolas's Clutches, then it's a legendary land. Oh, that's rude. I don't even know what you take here. Chandra? Probably Chandra, right? Oh, Essence Scatter. Interesting, because I have double Disallow, and I have enough mana for Disallow. So. Oh, all right, another double white drop that we already have. Any land is pretty good. I mean, just kill carries though. Yeah, they asked how many ways do we have to cast the uh, the legendary sorceries. The problem with clutching in as Kanta is that I think it... I'm just going to counter this. Uh, no, I'm not. You can have it. Sure. Take whatever you like. You can flip Azkanta if you clutch it, right? Because it doesn't leave the game. The only ones that leave the game are Planeswalkers, I believe. Well, Shonda was pretty good for us, but... You have one other card in hand.
Oof. Not ideal. Not ideal. Three more we're going to take. Any recommendations or suggestions for a budget modern deck? I've been looking for something fun, cheap, and preferably uncommon. Um, what's budget? Explain, like, define budget for me. Freedom Cobra. Feel free to check out. Use the deck command. And that will list the deck for you. They have two cards. We can counter one of them. Yep. All right. Can I just draw like an, an abrade or a seal away or something? I feel like we have a good game if we have that. And by good game, I mean we'll be, we'll be favored at that point. Wow, red lands. You're killing me here. What's the deal with a few standard events on covers? Uh, I don't know. I was wondering that myself. Last week, the SCG was a team event, and there was a, a sealed Grand Prix. And uh, I was just like, this is weird because, like, this is one of the most exciting standard formats in a while. And there's, like, no coverage of this set, which is super crazy. I don't know. I, I would personally schedule it differently if it were up to me, but I don't make these kind of decisions, unfortunately. I'm trying to give you some standard coverage. Which is pretty indicative of my enjoyment of this format because um, I have I don't think I I, I frequently infrequently play standard on stream and now I've been playing it pretty regularly. Wow, fashionable late to the party. On the bright side, we can pretty much cast anything we draw now. But So, Gideon's going to take three, at least. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I have not played any, Liz any Lich's Mastery or Wizard Tribal decks. I've been trying to stick with decks that can potentially win me. Ma oh, they're just going to the face. This is aggressive. This is where they go lightning strike, lightning strike. I don't have any blockers. Just proceed to the next step, dude. I pr I'm pretty sure Wizards has not given up on standards. <laughs> that's that's pretty hyperbolic. I would not I would not agree with that. All right, land, fumigate. All right, off the top. Just give me that fumigate. Fumigate. That's kind of like a fumigate. What's the wizard deck missing to be good? I have no idea. I haven't even seen a wizard deck. That's like saying, what's my spaceship missing to be good? I, I I don't know. I haven't seen your spaceship. I have no idea what it even has. And I'm not a spaceship expert, so. Um, I'm just going to make an emblem here because we can. That's what that was. That was the thing I was thinking. They don't want too many standard decks before the Pro Tour because they want to show it off at the Pro Tour. Oh, that's a good draw, but not really. I'd just rather have one more mana to kick it. I think it's still. I think we still have to play a Varix here, unfortunately. Dang, one mana away from the kicker, please. Wow, Continuum Transfunctioner is pretty legit. That's one of the higher end. Uh, that's one of the higher end spaceship components, man. Snapcaster Mage is a wizard. I want to block here. You'll never make me not block.
I'll deal with whatever pump spell you have. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Which I haven't actually seen yet. So, wait, that guy just died? Huh. Oh, I see. The old two for one. That's just fine. Show me your carry Zev again. Oh, a Ruin Raider. Oh, boy. That guy's problematic. Removal spell. Magma spray. That'll do. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. This game has been intense. All right, so now you're just going to play carry Zev. Where's the Lyra? You tell me. Just kidding. You can't tell me. You don't know. I don't hate you. I'm a robot. Oh, Raph and Ajay is emulating Inferno. Oh, you're going to give me that Raph for sure. And then you're going to give me that Jai Zimulating in front of next turn. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Oh, oh, oh. Or they just kill us because they have Lightning Strike. But there are two Lightning Strikes in their graveyard, so I feel like we're, we're okay there. Oh, they also have to kill Gideon before they can win the game. So, never mind. That's pretty. That's pretty on point. You think Inferno would be a meme here? I don't understand. Like, we get to deal a million dollar things. They're all dead. Um, let's put Inferno into our hand. They have no cards in hand? Oh, for crying out loud. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. Done. Everything's dead. All right, now we can start getting in there. Oh, we don't have to. We won that game. All right, thank, thank you so much for watching these videos. Really appreciate it, guys. If you guys have not done so, if you like the deck, you can check it out here and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, also, you can check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Um And like I said, we will we, we did add the uh, the extra search for us content. We took out Temporal, temporal Sundering. Uh, I, th I think this wasn't as good because we didn't really play against decks that uh, had things to steal. But if we play against like a Scarab God deck, we're probably just going to steal their Scarab God. That's the, that's the idea. But uh, yeah, I'll thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.